Minecraft is an interesting game. At some point, we've seen the game one way or another, through YouTubers, mod reviews, or those parody songs back in 2014. However, just in case you don't, Minecraft is a sandbox game. It's a game where you spawn in and just do whatever you want. There's nothing else to it. What you do is up to you. And for a lot of people, that choice to create is what gravitates them right to it. For me, my first experience with Minecraft was through Pocket Edition back in 2014. I remember watching on YouTube and seeing how cool Java Edition was, and back then, I got the best gift ever. The Xbox 360 Edition. When I was a kid, it was the only game I could play without shitting my pants or getting too confused because there was too much going on, so I enjoyed it. I played it with my family and we had a chill world, however, despite sinking dozens of hours, we never actually beat the game. Fast forward a few years later, and I've only beaten the game once in hardcore mode with a friend back in 2020. And since then, I've barely touched the game. I did have a Bed Wars YouTuber phase, if anyone remembers that, but I don't really want to talk about it. But I've never actually beaten the game on my own. And I always wonder, is it fun? So I'll be doing just that in hardcore mode. Before we start, it's important to note that I won't play fully in vanilla. I will be using mods, but 90% of them are just to make my computer not explode by running Minecraft with pretty shaders and OBS at the same time. The two mods that I mainly wanted to use this time around was Terralith, a mod that changes world generation and distant horizons that removes render distance so you can see everything without exploding your computer. There are two mods that don't remove the vanilla experience and I really wanted to add something cool to it while playing, and yeah, <laughs> with all that out of the way, I started. Oh, I like this biome. My first hour was pretty decent. I built a house, 
got some armor and a few diamonds too. I had a pretty solid goal or plan in mind for this world. Step one, get diamonds. Step two, get the enchantment table. Step three, get, get fortune. Step four, profit. Step five, nether and then the end and then finish this. I didn't want to do the nether in full iron so I decided just to get full diamond and become super strong so I was locked in pretty much the entire time getting materials. Honestly looking back on these mining sessions I want to call them like descents into madness due to the fact that I would run out of torches almost every time and be forced either to walk in like the complete darkness or use really weird things as light sources and the fact that during my first hour i only had three pieces of food the entire time i was in the cave not to mention like being in the caves themselves um i was very paranoid because spiders scare me i would scan the entire area before doing anything in my inventory and the sounds in the distance really didn't help either it made me feel overwhelmed at times but regardless i would power through it and get what i needed after what felt like hours i had finally returned to the surface feeling a little bit richer than i did before food was becoming a bit of a problem so i made a little farm and while i waited for it to grow i used the lava pool and made another portal I was really afraid of going into the nether, so I made sure only to go in for like two seconds before going back out. I then decided to start strip mining for about an hour or so, and after a while I came across 12 diamonds, and as soon as I came back home a creeper blew up my house, so then I had to fix that. And after that I just ran in some direction to find sugar cane, but immediately got distracted by the pointy object in the distance. When I had made my way over to it, it turns out there were two villages in the same area. And one even had a castle, a castle. Like that's, surely that's not normal. But in this chest had like 30 pieces of obsidian just lying around and I was like, what? But, oh, okay. After making another portal and connecting the two areas, I headed into this weird house. And for some reason there were like a lot of bookshelves. So I stole all those and headed home because it was time to begin phase three of my plan, getting fortune. When I returned home, I built my enchanting table off camera. And I'll be honest, I have no idea where the footage for this is. It like, it just deleted itself because it's not on my computer, but anyway, I was a few levels off of level 30. So I did the most logical thing anyone would do when having access to the nether and needing a few levels. I built a mob farm. I don't know why I decided to do this. I think I was like thinking more about it in the long run and it sounds good on paper infinite levels whenever I wanted. Right next to my house, I was like, eh, why not? After a long time of building, I finished it, and guess what? It didn't work. <laughs> I wasted like so much time building it, and then it didn't work. So then, full of shame, I entered the nether and mined quartz for like 10 minutes and got my levels. I went to go enchant my pickaxe. I got fortune three with efficiency four, and that wasn't bad at all. So I figured it would be time to put it into good use and go mining. I decided to try a new cave system since I was already in the previous one for like hours and I just wanted something other than mine shafts for once, which led me down to one of the coolest caves I've ever been in. This whole cave system here was just so, so cool. I mean, it went all the way down and you could look up and see where you were before and the lighting, it was just, I was just so amazed by it and I was really enjoying exploring the cave. So after a bit of searching, I got really lucky and found a skeleton spawner. I made sure to keep note of it so I can get back to it later, but I just wanted to keep mining. After a while, I found diamonds and decided to head back using the portals. Using the portals, I had easy access to the spawner. So I went home, fixed up the enchantment room, and got to work on building the mob farm 2.0.
I finished the farm and it was working. I was really proud of it and had a good source of arrows and bone meal. So I felt a little bit more comfortable. I tried figuring out ways to put my bone meal to good use for trading, but ultimately I got really bored. <laughs> so next was just getting a full set of diamond armor. So I went back into the cave. like more diamond over there. I had full diamond armor at this point, but I realized that I would need to enchant that and it's really impossible to get the good enchants only being level 30. So I spent a long time in the skeleton farm to get the levels that I needed. After a while, I had everything I wanted and it was finally time to explore the nether get the blaze rods, ender pearls, and finally go to the end. I took my first steps into the nether and began my journey. As a kid, the nether was always one of the few things that scared me and it stuck. As traveling to the nether, I was on edge the entire time and I was really nervous about dying. I only get one shot at it. And it's not like keep inventory is on and I can just free fall into the lava to get home. I first went to the blue forest to the right of the portal and farmed a little for ender pearls. I wanted them just in case I got stuck somewhere and needed a quick escape. After that, I ventured off, just walking to wherever I thought the fortress was. I felt very nervous, but I knew I needed to get it done, so I treated it very seriously. Fuck. Oh my god. Ah! Bingo. Here we are. When I reached the fortress, I was overwhelmed. I don't know. I felt very overstimulated being there, and by myself, I panicked. I hit a zombie pigment on accident, exited the game and tried again and forget. It didn't work. So I just built another portal and just re-entered the nether. After that, it didn't take much walking around to find a blaze spawner, so I built a roof, almost died in the process, and immediately after getting what I needed, I started heading home. I restocked my supplies, went back, got a few more pearls, made the eyes of Ender, and this was it. All that's left is the end. Here we go. You know, there's a mountain in that sun, but... GG! There's the uh, thing. We are in. Oh shit. Snipe of the century. 
snipe to the sentry. Oh, I got it! My guy has no heals now. Oh. oh, now you move when I come here. Oh. One for good luck. I'm going in. Nice. Oh my god. And he'd vanished with a dragon egg. Hold on. Oh. 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 It fell. <laughs> All right. That was it. The credits began rolling. I'd never actually read the poem at the end, so it was my first time seeing it. It was a weird feeling. I mean, I had been working my way to this moment. The reason I had fought so hard and it was done. I did it. Sitting there reading and just in my thoughts, I felt very nostalgic. It reminded me of times that have since passed and memories that I had forgotten started resurfacing all at once and I felt overwhelmed by the amount of feelings I was feeling. At the time I started playing, I had just gone out of the hospital, still recovering, and I wanted to feel something other than excruciating pain, and for some reason I gravitated back to Minecraft. I wanted to chase a version of myself that was, wasn't me. I mean, I'm not a kid or teenager anymore, I'm an adult. But regardless, the question of this whole thing was, is it fun? Did I enjoy Minecraft or was it the experiences I had with the game that made it fun for me? I feel like the answer is a bit of both. Minecraft is a lonely game. A lot of people have talked about this topic already. With people, that emptiness fills in until there isn't any loneliness. However, the sense of exploration, the scenery, progression, and the soundtrack can create these sort of moments that can be unforgettable. That's why I think it's fun, but it's something I won't want to experience again by myself for a while. I'm glad I did though. Nostalgia is a funny thing though. Had I not played this game in my childhood, my answer could have been wildly different. I think nostalgia can blind us from seeing things for what they are, but does it really matter? Looking back and remembering how things were, or that feeling of completing something for the first time, is nice. Time moves on though, and people will not share the same opinion, but if I were to give some advice, if you're on the fence about playing the game again and asking the same question, I suggest you just pick up the game and just start. It doesn't have to be in hardcore mode or anything, just play and find out for yourself. Nothing starts unless you do it. 